Meet some of Britain's ladies-in-waiting, some of the 400 warships that constitute the reserve fleet. With few exceptions, all have been built since 1939 and include three 35,000-ton battleships, eight cruisers, four aircraft carriers, 60 destroyers, 130 frigates, and 80 minesweepers. Little publicized and at one time thought by many to be an assembly of dead, neglected warships, today it is very much a live command. The reserve fleet must be ready to replenish the active fleet, so modern methods are used to preserve the vessels in a constant state of readiness. This involves packaging the gun emplacements, popularly called cocooning. Webbing and netting are first stretched into position over all working installations above deck. The netting is now sprayed with approximately six coats of plastic, bitumen and paint, the top coat being silver. By this method, guns and radar equipment can remain for years in excellent condition. The use of such quick and effective methods is typical. By them, men are released for sea exercises, and today, 10% of the Navy's manpower can look after 90% of its ships. No, he's not undoing the good work, just cutting an observation window. There are about 10,000 officers and men in the command, including a fair proportion of national service entrants. They're all very much needed, for in spite of modern methods, they have more than enough work. Due to post-war shrinkage of the active fleet, many ships entered the reserve at a time of manpower shortage, and much hasty work has had to be made good since. Gun muzzles are sealed off, for nothing is left to chance. In fact, the standard of preservation in the reserve fleet is even higher than that of the active fleet. There's a very good reason for what they're doing now. The ship has been painted and openings protected. But all possible steps have to be taken to dehumidify the compartments. Hygrometers are taken inside, together with bags of desiccant which absorb moisture. Air pumped round the sealed ship will help to dry it out. It may take several weeks, but it's worth it, for the degree of moisture can be reduced from 90% to 20. Progress can be checked on the hygrometers through the observation window cut in the plastic skin. Britain's strength depends on her fleet, and her fleet in turn depends on the reserve, ready at any moment to produce a ship in full working trim. So let us salute the officers and men who make it possible. <laughs>